In this video, I built a successful landscaping business only to sell it and move to a new town with a brand new business. However, this time, things are a bit different. I have to make a million dollars, and I only have a year to do it. Will I make a million, or will I go broke? Stay tuned to find out. And if you guys enjoy videos like this and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and drop a like helps too. Anyway, let's go make some money. Well, boys, it's another day back out here at the landscaping business, and as you can see, I am still down to one truck. So in the last episode, I had a buddy borrow my truck, and unfortunately, it got T-boned, and it's totaled off. I should be getting the insurance check for it later today. I don't know how much it's going to be. I mean, it was a really nice truck, low miles, super done up. So I'm hoping it's a good amount, but uh, we still have yet to see. Anyways, I have got two sheds to deliver today, so that's going to be quite a bit of money. However, I also have some bills to pay. So a while back, we had an issue with the excavator. We ended up taking it to mechanic and getting fixed. However, I... I did not pay the bill so I gotta pay the bill now and it's about 10 grand so with that all paid up it leaves us at $75,000 which I'm, I'm not too too happy with I'd like a lot more but uh we'll work with what we got so since we already got this shed all loaded up and ready to go we just gotta back up to this thing hook it up and we'll be out of here if I can back up to it straight, it's going to take a couple tries. This has no backup camera. There we go. So time is flying as far as the year goes here. It's been going by a lot faster than I thought it would, but we still have to make a million dollars by the end of the year here, and we have about $150,000 in debt still. Now, my main goal right now is to get this debt paid off, hopefully, so we can move on from that and start maybe expanding the business in other places. However, the car wash is still doing good and the storage business as well. I would like to expand on that, but I'm not too sure. I don't know if it's going to be worth it. Now, I was thinking about getting the property evaluated as it stands right now to see what it's worth. Uh, the town's properties have went up a bunch in value recently, so I think we could actually get a decent amount for it if we decided we wanted to sell it. But for now, I probably want to keep it just so uh, we have that extra income coming in. And I should probably stop by there on our way into town. We'll drop it off the shed so I can collect our uh, income there real quick. Okay, first delivery of the day. It's at a winery. I've heard these are really profitable businesses, but I don't know. Anyways, I got to talk to them quick, see where they want this dropped. They already have a bunch of sheds. Why don't, why don't they need another one? I'll be for storage, but I'll figure out where they want it and we can get it there. Okay, so I just had a chat with them. They want it dropped back here, which is a little bit of a precarious situation, but I'll see if I can get it done. We just got to maneuver this trailer in just right without hitting a tree or taking off some siding. That would be ideal and that should do it right about there all right we'll just pull forward a little bit here slide her off and that's it that's all ah dang it i didn't even throw on the flashes while hauling that thing could have been pulled over for that oh well i'll do it next time all right back at the shop just as i was pulling up here i just got off the phone with a customer for the uh second shed there that we were supposed to deliver today he said he can't take delivery till later afternoon which kind of sucks because i needed to go into the town asap here and cash that check for the shed from the winery but i guess it can wait at any rate, that's fine because we have a pond to go dig. That's another job I scheduled for today. Probably a little overbooked, but uh, we'll make it work. All right, come on, Mac. Please do not have a dead battery. Just this once. And it has a dead battery. Son of a gun. All right, where's my battery booster? It's got to be around here somewhere. There you are. I don't know if this battery booster is going to be enough, but we're going to give it a try. Finally, okay, we can get on the road. Never fails, never fails. Always a train, delaying my jobs. Dang it. So this place is actually right next to the winery here, and we gotta stake out this area where they want this pond, but uh, these people are super, super rich, as you can see. Maybe this will be me one day if the landscaping company does good enough. Okay, let's get this thing off of here. So they told me, try not to tear up the grass as much as I can, but I am driving an excavator, and if you've ever driven an excavator before, you'll know that trying to not tear up the grass is next to impossible so i'm trying my best okay so it took a bit of time here but we have the whole area that we want kind of dug out in a rough kind of outline obviously this ain't a circle but uh we're gonna try our best to anyways we got it all staked out here so we're gonna get to digging now the issue with this is this whole deal is on a slope and the owners specifically said they wanted it here i advised them we maybe should go a little bit more down there where it's not as much of a slope but kind of right in this area but 
they were very insistent on right here so we're gonna try our best to accommodate this i guess all the rainwater will come down into the pond which will be nice but we're gonna try keep it to the more flatter side if we can it's gonna take quite a bit of digging and i'm probably not gonna get it all done today but we are gonna try our best i should really have a dozer or two but uh that's not in the budget right now Alrighty, so it is near end of day here and this is where we're at we've been going pretty much all day and uh yeah it's not going too bad definitely did not get as much as i wanted to done but uh it is what it is anyways i pretty much dug out the outline of where we wanted the pond here this side still has a long way to go and this side's gonna have a very very high embankment that we're gonna try smooth down the best we can i was gonna try and make a ramp so we could actually uh drive this the uh, dump truck in here but uh that didn't really work out how i wanted to because this excavator is just a pain to try and make a ramp with it is what it is we can load out of here i got this dug out a little bit but i had to kind of pile up everything so there's still a lot of dirt right in this area but we pretty much got this area hauled out but i just realized i don't have a pickup here and yeah i have not eaten all day and it is pretty much end of day so i'm probably gonna call it here after i finish loading up this truck we'll go dump it there's a dump site just uh on the side of the property there where the owners are letting us dump the dirt it makes things a lot easier for us but i'm gonna say we have another day and a half here by the time we get this dug all down and hauled out because i'm just one man crew i'm gonna do all this and then we're gonna have to rent a dozer to get the rest of it i was gonna go deliver that uh other shed today but didn't get around to it so that's a project for tomorrow well it is the next day here and I woke up to a very interesting call this morning. Basically, what happened is a local guy, he's a business investor, he uh, got a hold of me and he wants to buy the car wash and the storage business. Now, I was going to get the place actually evaluated, but he just threw out an offer. And that offer was $500,000 cash money, which is nuts and i left my duramax on this morning anyways five hundred thousand dollars cash money i don't even know what to say to that because that is such a crazy number i think i bought the place for like 225 ish something like that 230 by the time we were all said and done i put a lot of money into the place got it looking good got it working good it's a very successful business pays my rent on this whole place gives me some extra spending cash and pays a full-time employee as well no problems and it's the slow season for storage stuff so yeah i don't even know if i should take that because that's just I don't know this it's such a hard decision because that's a lot of money at any rate uh i gotta get back to digging that pond later today if i get a chance but i have to deliver a shed first and then while i'm in town there i'm gonna meet the guy at uh the, the storage place and car wash and he's gonna look at it uh we, we may sell it i was not expecting to but we might just sell it all right so i got the flashers on this time we got the uh second shed here third shed uh i don't know if it's gonna sell here the business has been slowing down a little bit Every Everybody's out at the lake. Nobody's doing home improvements. It's usually the spring and the fall. So yeah, who knows if that other one's going to sell here real soon, but I'm happy the second one sold. It's just a little more extra cash in our pockets and we sell this business. We're going to have more cash than we know what to do with. And that honestly gets us halfway to our goal. Minus, of course, the 150-ish thousand dollars we have in debt. But that would just be a crazy number to have. An extra $500,000? That makes our investment in the car wash and storage business all worth it if that's the case. I mean, I'm sure if we kept it going a little bit longer, put some more work into it, we could probably sell it for a million because property values are just going up around that town. But I'm thinking it might be a smart decision to sell now. Well, we have made it to the spot here. We've actually delivered a shed to the house next door, but uh, I guess these guys saw I delivered them a shed, so their neighbors wanted one too. Dropped off the shed, 25 grand acquired. I gotta go in uh, to the bank there, cash that other check from the winery for dropping off their shed, and we'll be up to 125 grand, and then I'm supposed to go meet the guy at the car wash there. Man, it's gonna be a big money day if everything goes well. And of course, everything had to come to a screeching halt, including my truck because I am out of fuel pulling in to the gas station. Son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> sucks um i'm not gonna try to start it again because then it's just going to put air in the fuel lines and i don't want to do that so i'm gonna grab a gas can and we're gonna try to fill this up with diesel i'm right here like come on i am right here okay i got a gas can full of diesel we uh put it in the truck here i'm gonna try cycle the truck a few times get the fuel pump going hopefully this thing will start up oh 
man. Okay. Please don't tell me I gotta do something else here. Call a mechanic. Oh, oh, we're good. We're good. Okay, let's get this thing to the fuel pump. Well, that was an expensive trip to the fuel pump. 250 bucks. Man, let's hope I don't run out of fuel again here. That would suck. So I'm just waiting around here for the guy to show up, and I just got paid from insurance out for the truck that was totaled. $48,750. Pretty dang good. Now I just gotta go buy another truck. Well, I'm just leaving the car wash here, and the deal is off. I'm just kidding. It's actually on. Anyways, he's just gonna go look over some papers, talk to the bank, get some details there, and hopefully we should be hearing back from him by the end of this week, and it'll be yay or nay. But for now, it's pretty secure that uh, this is gonna happen, so I don't know what to do now. <laughs> we were gonna have an extra $500,000 I gotta find out something to do with. I'm sure I can spend it somewhere. I actually have to go spend it on a new truck. That's a red light. I can't go. So things went a bit later than we thought we would, but I think think we have the pond pretty much done we got this side dug out to the uh right height we wanted it to we uh got this side dug out pretty dang high we're going to uh have a rental dozer show up tomorrow so we can smooth this all out get it all graded get it all nice i hired my buddy ricky for the day to uh help run the dump truck so we got this done way faster than i thought we would have but i think i'm gonna call this a night here uh, it was it was a late one. However, I got to pay my buddy as two grand. And then we had to get fuel for all the equipment that came out to about 1500 bucks. But at least we're pretty much done now. I'm going to go to bed because I'm tired. Well, another day, another dollar back out here in paradise. It's an early morning and I finally get to go buy a new truck. Well, new to me at least. I am sick of driving around this GMC. It It's great for hauling sheds. Don't get me wrong, but you can't see crap out of the back window. It's got big oversized signs all over it. It's just, yeah, it, it's not fun to drive. So we get to go hopefully pick something else up today. We got the rental dozer showing up later today. So we got a little bit of time to kill and hopefully the deal for the car wash should be we should be hearing back on that today and i got on the completely wrong machine but if that goes through we're gonna have more money than we know what to do with which i'm not gonna lie that that'll be nice i actually know what i'm gonna do with it i'm gonna pay off our stinking loan which would be uh real nice to get rid of and as nice as it would be to have that passive money from the car wash it's just not gonna be worth it in the long run for us because we're trying to make a million dollars by the end of the year here and that's just not gonna get us there it will get us fairly close though we're already gonna be making a pretty decent profit on this if we do do the deal so you might be wondering austin why did you bring the shed trailer well it's because it does have the possibility to haul vehicles so in case we end up buying this truck we can haul it back that's what's kind of nice about this thing doubles as like a normal trailer i don't know for a dually though i might have just spoiled the surprise we, we might be going to buy a dually so the same place we bought the shed business from we might also be buying a dually from and this is it as much as i love and hate my gmc i couldn't resist trying on another ford so this is an f 450 i know f550 never mind 550 six seven power stroke it's got the dump bed on it which is sweet it's a dually it's all done up it's got a nice leveling kit on it so uh it doesn't have the reverse level tow rig squat crap it's got a big old hitch on the back this thing is just a super super clean truck they just did the uh bed on it so it's a brand new one it'll work great if we need to do a little skid steer work or whatever else i think it's gonna be a sweet truck so let's see if we can go talk price with the guy i think i just stole it $35,000 later and we got ourselves a new truck that's actually a killer deal for this thing low miles brand new dump bed i mean not a lot of people want these single cab dualies just as like normal daily drivers they're more work trucks it is an xlt or no it's an xl never mind an xl so it's not the high trim value so you're not overpaying for an interior but i'm happy we got ourselves a new truck well that is a fancy setup if i've ever seen one this looks really dang good even got the flashers we're set up now anyways we're gonna head out to the pond construction site there the dozer should be there we're gonna get that all finished up i got the skid steer in case we need to do any uh, little work down there but it shouldn't be too bad now that is what i like to see that is one nice dozer right there it, even a, oh no it's a cat i thought it was a deer for some reason Ah, huh. well luckily i know how to run one of these things somewhat i'll figure it out it's a little d1 so it's not crazy big but it will get the job done i would actually really like to buy one of these things so i can expand my uh instruction end of the business here but let's see what we can get done with this thing let's hope it can push some dirt i guess is it will and i'm thinking that should about do 
do it we got pretty much all this flattened out it's looking real dang good i think we're done here i also did forget to mention here uh the owners of this property did pay for the rental of the d1 but we didn't end up having to use the skid steer which was nice this dozer worked like a charm and now i want one even more i don't even know how much these things are they can't be cheap i mean be cheaper than like uh i don't know d10 <laughs> i imagine so it's uh nine less d's anyway let's get this thing loaded up and we're gonna get back to the shop here so this job got us forty thousand dollars which is really dang good that's why i like to do construction work so much because it pays so so well and there's not many people out here that do it so more money for us you'd think with all these like mansions and stuff there'd be a lot more out here but uh i guess not not a lot of people that do it good for me though lots of business well just grabbing my last piece of equipment here and 40 grand in the bank big money one hundred fifty thousand dollars. that's enough to pay off for a loan which is real nice question is am i gonna spend it or am i gonna pay off the loan probably should pay off the loan but a dozer is tempting i don't even know if i can buy one for that much but uh i'll start to look so i'm just back here at the shop getting everything cleaned up ready to go for the next job and i got some big news we sold the business five hundred thousand dollars in cash so that brings us up to six hundred fifty thousand dollars now that's a lot of money we're almost three quarters of our way to a goal of a million however i don't like debt so $150,000 goes to the bank and that gets us free and clear of debt and we're officially halfway now who knows if I'm gonna spend it I mean we probably all know the answer to that I'm, I'm gonna spend it but it's gonna be most likely on some more equipment or something else who knows what I can find out here at any rate if you guys have any suggestions on what we should do with the money let me know down in the comments but hope you all enjoyed subscribe and goodbye